little girl put all of this in motion? One fucking brave little girl. In my last video, I spoke about the fact that we will be seeing Tatiana soon because since Ghost and Tommy killed Milan and Jason is dead as well, she was one of the people left that can take control of staffs. And I did establish that the drugs Liliana stole belongs to her. So it is not surprising to see Tatiana making a comeback in episode 4. I guess some people will start taking me serious especially about ghosts because I am not just watching the show to guess but I'm trying to find out how the writers are thinking and their next move. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about Tatiana, why there was a tip off when Tommy, Victor and Diamond were meeting the Yardis. I will also address some of your comments with regards to my last video on ghosts and tell you what the writers are doing in every episode by bringing his name up. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now let's jump straight to business. Before I go into today's topic, I want us to take a minute to pay our last respect to the legendary Larry Newman Jr., a Chicago actor who died on Wednesday at the age of 62. Larry made his appearance in Power Book 4 Force Episode 2. He was the one who rented his firehouse to Tommy. And I want you to forget that I was ever here. I don't know, Goldie. I got a real good memory. Motherfucker. Let me grab my toothbrush. Buy a new one. His death was announced by his former wife of 18 years, Sandy Boglum. Sandy said Newman collapsed and died at his South Shore home, most likely from complications due to his type 1 diabetes. Plans for a memorial celebration is still pending. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Now you can drop your RIP in the comment section to show some love to Larry. Now let's talk about episode 4 starting with Tatiana. I don't know but in as much as I saw Tatiana making a comeback in Power Book 4, I didn't expect her to last just an episode. I feel there is some interesting stories to be told about her before she catches the smoke. But well, these writers are not pampering any character at all and since she has established that there is a bigger boss aside her, killing her doesn't end the Serbs from hunting Tommy. Now the next person I suspect to be Tatiana's boss is this guy here. He was like number two to Jason. He was wild on ghost and he was keen on protecting Jason. Before Jason died, he handed a gun to him for protection just in case ghost is trying to act funny. His action showed he is second in command to Jason. Take the gun. So it won't be surprising to find out he is the bigger boss Tatiana was referring to. Now for those of you who still don't remember Tatiana, she was with Milan in New York and after Ghost and Tommy killed Milan, she was with Jason in Chicago. And like she said to Tommy, had it not been her, Jason would have killed Tommy for killing Milan without his permission. It was me who vouched for you. I saved your fucking life. Now, I didn't like the fact that they killed her off so soon, but it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on who you think Tatiana's boss is. Now, moving on, when Victor, Diamond and Tommy were going to meet the Aris, the police invaded the police before they could get there. I don't believe in coincidence, but this move and tip was an inside job. I believe Jenner had this dude tell his brother and tip off the police about the Yardis meetup just to prove a point to his big brother. Jenner doesn't want Diamond working with Tommy. Diamond doesn't want to go back inside. So this invasion move from the police will make Diamond bring his mind back to his little brother. Let me know what you think, but personally, I think Jenner tip off the cops so leave your comments in the comment section, let's discuss. Now to more controversial topic, my last video attracted some interesting debate in the comment section where people were sharing their opinion on ghosts still alive or dead. Now what I don't understand about people who are with the view that ghost is dead is that they seem to be saying what Courtney Kem says in her IG life. I expected some different approach but most of these people see Omari said it and the writer herself confirmed that ghost is dead. Now, my question is, which writer will make you feel a character is dead on screen and go on IG Live to tell you the opposite of what they have shown you on screen? People forget Courtney Kemp had a mission and she is sticking to that. She will not destroy the show by giving you the right answer at the wrong time. 
If she tells you on IG Live that Ghost is dead, it is not different from what was portrayed in Power Season 6, Episode 10 and 15. The same person who created this illusion and we are all divided now is the same person telling you this on IG. Now, ask yourself, how many dead characters did Courtney Kemp have to defend on IG Live apart from Ghost? How did you admit the death of other characters? Compare it to that of Ghost and ask yourself why his own is different. And for those of you who are saying that they have beef and that Omari didn't like the fact that he was shot by his son and he wasn't happy with the producers, hence he is not coming back, let me enlighten you. Omari is a cast, not a writer. He is paid to act what has been written. If he has an idea and suggested, it is not a mandate that his idea should be represented if they don't like it. And if they are using Omari's ideas, it means there should be some agreement signed for that idea so that there won't be future suit from him should in case the idea grows into something bigger. And one thing we should all know is that writers don't just accept suggestions from people just like that. That was why Kemp herself says she doesn't read her DMs because people keep suing she and 50 for reading scripts they send them in their DMs. Now, Tariq is not the first to shoot his father. Tommy shot his father too. Kenan shot his son. Now, Ghost was even the one who persuaded Tommy into killing his own father. So if he doesn't have any problem with a son killing a father, why will he have a problem when his own son is about to kill him? This here says don't make any sense to me until this is confirmed from Omari himself that he is not coming back to power because they have killed him off. I'm not buying this. If people who died in power decide to be mad because their character has been killed, or they suggested some ideas and it wasn't taken, don't you think the show would have been a mess? Especially bringing them back? Take Proctor for instance, even the writer herself regretted killing off Proctor. So let's say he also felt bitter for being killed off. It means he won't even make an appearance as a ghost. You should know by now, Kem doesn't give spoilers. Let's even say she knows ghosts will come back and he is not dead. Do you think she will come and say it in public? Do you think in her right senses, she will just announce that ghost is not dead? To me, she is sticking to the script. If you know how writers think, plan and imagine like their audience, you won't even be expecting the truth from her. She wrote ghost character. She designed that persona. She made him lie betray, kill people, etc. So if you are looking at Ghost, look at him like Courtney Kemp because that is the product of her imagination. So for someone who is able to write like this, will not come on Instagram to contradict herself simply because fans want to know what she is hiding. She knows how fans behave. That's why she is able to write for you to feel the way you have been feeling. Now, don't forget before Omari was giving his last script, Courtney Kemp said she took him to a dinner to have this conversation about the final episode with him. She said she wanted to have this conversation with him first before giving him the script. Now, every other conversation that happened during that dinner, we didn't know and she didn't say. And I don't think they only went for a dinner just to tell Omari he was going to die. If there should be any secret Omari has to keep with regards to his role, that can only be discussed one-on-one -on -one and not on set where there are other people present who could leak information later. And if Ghost was going to die just like any other character, I don't think Omari needs a dinner briefing and I don't think Angela or Lakeisha got some dinner briefing about their death. My point is, until they decide to design an RIP post for Ghost, I still stand with the fact that he is not dead. If Kemp wants to save her energy explaining to you that Ghost is dead, a simple RIP post will save her a lot of energy. Now, finally, I know in this episode, Ghost conversation came up multiple times. That is not surprising. I actually expected this kind of conversation to happen because that is what is in the news, that Ghost is dead. And one thing you should know is that all these are hearsays. There was no body of Ghost. And I don't think if they wanted to show Ghost's body, they wouldn't have captured it already after Tariq shot him. If they needed the body down to show that he was really dead, just after the shooting scene, they would have shot Omari's body as well before they even start planning Power Book 2, 3, and 4. Someone also commented that Omari took off all power staffs on his IG page. Yes, it's true. But if you look closely, there is a picture of him, Tate, and Ramona holding a book titled Chasing Ghosts. Now, let me leave that to you 
to think about. Leave your thoughts and decent comments below and don't forget to show some RIP love to Larry Newman. Now, if you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.